I'm here today with L Fire Spray. How are you doing today? Hello. Good, how are you? I'm doing really, really well. And I'm really excited to talk to you about your entry for the Nova Open Charitable Foundation. And so I've been starting out these interviews by asking you to give us a little description about the piece that you painted. Well, uh, she was a uh, back for Star Wars Legion. And uh, I wanted like to make something special and crazy. That's kind of how I paint my jewbacks. I just love jewbacks. And uh, so I when I wanted to make something that you know something cool, so I created like this kind of uh, magical, mystical-looking jewback that had like rhinestones in it, and, and the belly was all like a like a like space, like the sky at night. I don't know. I went wild with my imagination on, on that one. And uh, it turned out really, really nice. I was really proud of it. Uh, I, I worked on new things for the base as well. And uh, I thought it was a, I don't know, whoever will get it will be really lucky. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> um, but yeah, things happen. <laughs> yeah. So. Did you just pick this particular piece because you're a Star Wars fan, or was there some sort of process in picking? Yeah, I, I, yeah, sorry, I, I paint usually uh, Star Wars Legion miniatures. Are kind of I have a couple of games that are more like I paint all kinds of things, but mainly on Gods of Egypt and Star Wars Legion are kind of the ones that I usually paint. Um, and uh, Jewbacks are really fun to play with on the table not just you know just nice to look at they're actually really fun and uh when i was you know asked to uh paint something they just say you know paint something that makes you happy um sorry about that and uh just paint something that makes you happy and that was all i needed to say for me just to pick a do back of course <laughs> um so that was that's why amazing uh so it had this uh, sort of night sky kind of theme to it. Was there any part of the process that gave you a little more trouble than you would have expected? Um, I think just the, the thing that took me the most time was just coming up with the idea about what I wanted to do. My, my first idea was to make like a, a chameleon style jewback with all these different colors and uh, I was just gonna go crazy. I even like asked people on Instagram just to you know vote on which chameleon they like better. I didn't tell them for what, but then when I started painting it, I did not like how it was turning. Like I was like, no, this is not how I picture it. You know, like it happens sometimes. Yes. You have a picture in your head, and then when you're when you put it on, you know, you're like, mm, no, this is not it. And uh, so it, what took me the longest, I think, or what or the most challenging part was just coming up with a new idea and uh, cause I, like I said I wanted something original something that had never been done something that when you google mini painted uh, or painted jewback you will find it you know it will be just something unique mm -hmm. I don't know It'll that's like why I, it took me eye. the longest yeah definitely it took me the longest to think about something original I guess yeah um so yeah. you do a bit of live streaming is that right? Yes. Did you live yes. stream this particular project? No, I, I didn't this particular project and there's a reason for that. <laughs> I, for this specific thing, especially for with things that I'm, I'm very, I want to be very careful. But I, I usually don't stream those because uh, I feel like I, unless I need to do like base colors of something that I know or I have a reference for. But if it's just only coming from my mind like this, I need absolute concentration, focus. So I didn't paint that one on, uh, live on stream. I did talk about it. I showed updates on it. But yeah, I just had the creative process all by myself because that's just how I need to do it, you know, for it to work. Yeah, I'm the same way when I stream. I like to pick things that are kind yeah. of easy. Also, because I have to hold it a bit farther away from my face. So yes. I don't like yes. to do like the really tiny, like I don't paint eyes on yeah. stream. <laughs> right. I, I usually pick something, yeah, or something big or something without eyes. Yes. Yeah. That's smart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you first hear about the Nova Open Charitable Foundation? 
Well, actually, um, the first time I heard about it was through my friend uh, Mark Sorastro. He he painted a couple of pieces for them for their um, I think it was again for charity for cancer uh, research, and um, that was the first time that I heard about it. I was like, what is this all about? I don't know. And uh, it was through his work, and and I bought you know I bought raffle tickets. Uh, for that major, I didn't win, but it was it was really nice to see how many people just like uh, were supporting the cause. So yeah. I thought it was awesome. I, I was always really cool. I always find it like when you don't win the miniature that you put your tickets in for, you're like, oh. Yeah. But then at the same time, you're like, but there must have been a lot of entries, and that's amazing too. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Or well, whatever. I'll paint it myself. Yeah, but it's not in the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so did you want to talk about what happened to your miniature? Sure. <laughs> yes, it was very unfortunate, but it was kind of funny because I, I, I wanted, I was going to Chiang Kong and I wanted to finish this before my trip there. And uh, so I finished it, I sent it early in July and uh, I went to Chiang Kong and sent out, you know, the tracking info. And then, you know, Nova contacts me after Chiang Kong. And they're like, <laughs> they're so nice. They're so, the nicest people, okay? And they're like, you know, um, that's so great that you had so much fun at Chiang Kong. Um, is there any chance you can send the miniature now? <laughs> and I'm like, I already sent it. And I, we looked up the track, we look, looked up the tracking and he said it had been delivered already July 20th. So two weeks before Chiang Kong and uh, he's like yeah the photographer didn't receive it and I'm like what so uh, they just started a claim on it with with uh, uh, with a postal service and uh, yeah it was delivered it was just left at the porch and I don't know in porch fire it's just it the rest because never found it never came back to me you know like if it had got lost it will come back to my address but um no he said like it was delivered it was left there but um photographer never got it so if people were going to buy tickets for your entry mm -hmm. um do you have any words for those people um, that's a good question. And uh, I don't know. The reason I wanted to do this was because I, it was a, a, a wonderful feeling when I was working on it, just thinking like, you know, I, I'm painting with a, with a cause, for a cause. And, and that just feels great. Just for, as an artist, you get to a point where your work can help other people. It's, you know, something that's incredible. And uh, the people that actually support these things and buy ruffles. And I had friends asking, when is your miniature going to come up? And uh, oh man, it's it's just been such an incredible feeling and getting to know the community of Nova Charity, the Nova Foundation even more. Um, just been an incredible experience. Even with all the miniature, I really appreciate everybody that, you know, came and, and uh, they when they heard about what happened, they just sent me messages. I'm so sorry. They were so nice and um, very supportive community. And I'm really thankful to be a part of it. Yeah, it was really, really important to Nova that we made sure to show off your amazing miniature and um, and just, you know, get the word out there that, you know, unfortunately, something did happen. Mm -hmm. um, but that being said, if people want to find more about you and the work that you do, where can they find you? Well, I am on, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter under the handle L underscore Firespray. Uh, I'm also streaming on Wednesday mornings on Twitch. And uh, I recently started, well, not recently, last year, but it's just new to me, uh, a YouTube channel where I upload, you know, different uh, works that I do either online or at home. And uh, I mean, online during streams or and uh, that's where you can find it pretty much everywhere. <laughs> Every, except for TikTok. I don't have that yet. I I'm, I'm a little too old for that, I think. I, I feel the same way. I started an account. I'm like, I don't understand it. I'm too old what for this. What is happening? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I think I downloaded it like yeah, like months ago, but I never even opened it. So. Yeah. And then um, my last question: Is there any closing thoughts that you would like to give to the viewers? Uh, well, thank you so much for watching and for being here. I'm uh, really excited to continue uh, growing and be a part of the you know mini painting community, board gaming community. Uh, and uh, there's room here for everyone. I just want to make that clear. <laughs> and uh, it's uh, it's a very amazing uh, community, amazing people, uh, amazing companies that, you know, there's a place here for everyone. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course.